Hello, I'm Dr. Eve. Welcome to my sexual health and relationship practice. One of the most heart-rendering situations that I deal with on this couch is breakups. I don't allow that word in my therapy room. It's so harsh. It's so terminal. It's so painful. None of us want to feel broken after the ending or the moving away of one significant relationship. Perhaps you are somebody who's struggling with the ending of a relationship and are still hankering after or still keeping this person in your life. I want you to accept that this person will always be in your life in one way or another. Move away from the expectation that society has given us that once somebody is gone, they're gone. Rather put them into a place in your heart and integrate them into your life in a quiet and still way where you can accept the joy and the pain that you had with this person. I want you not to feel tormented when you still long for, fantasize, masturbate to images of this person. If it begins to interfere with your current relationship, it's something that you do need to go and speak to a professional about if you haven't detached sufficiently yet. Some ideas for you on how to detach in a way that's not going to leave you totally heartbroken. So sit with the grief, reflect on it, always take into consideration what was my contribution to the ending of this relationship. Even if it's been an online relationship, which people tell you isn't real, I know it's real. You will feel the heartache, you will feel the loss. Sit with the pain and the loss of that. Experience those feelings. Do not dismiss them and move on. Many people will try and escape the feelings by finding somebody else, by being sexual, by drinking, by drugging, by gambling, by excessive work, excessive exercise. Rather sit with the feelings of pain that the loss of this person has brought into your life. Find a place of understanding and integration once you have self-reflected and you understand why this has moved on into a different space. Avoid using the words like breakup and terminated. Use words like we've moved on to a different form of relating, a different form of attaching. In that way, you won't feel the shredding of breakup and separation so very significantly. And then it's really important for you to manage boundaries, for you to decide how much contact you want and how little contact you want with this person. With time it becomes different and accept that, that you may want to connect with this person or you may, because of social media, have access to this person in different platforms. Decide what will be best for you in that current time. For more information around making new forms of attachment and ending attachments, find me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter.